I, come on, come on. You're I can't taking get, too I, much. I can't bug, get bug. any closer. <laughs> Please, darling. We're not in our <laughs> usual uh, filming room. <laughs> We're not back at Betty's. No, and I'm not in my uh, my home or my apartment or no, whatever. No, she's I'm, here with me. So today we've been enjoying for the last, what is it, a week and a half, uh, my whole body and health and sexual appetite and orgasms yes. are different. Better. Following our detox, much better. This is the health insurance. This is the health insurance across the board, which will also benefit your sexuality. I'll tell you, sexual this, health insurance. Yes, that's what we they all. They keep need. talking about insurance, insurance. Let me tell you something. The detox that we did included colonics, uh -huh. raw food, and we did exercise. We'll show photos. I was thinking of writing a poem to Sheila. Sheila Shea, and I had this like little limerick almost thing going on in my head. Just, Sheila is the woman who helped me start the body sex groups in the early 70s, and she went on to become a healer. And she Physical. is. Oh, She's yes. a hydro, what do they call them? Hydro colon therapist. therapist. Yeah, uh, yeah, hydro colon therapy. Yes. Absolutely. Now, everybody, the medical professionals don't approve of colonics. No, in fact, when we so we have this producer from L.A. calling us about some reality show. Don't worry, it's probably never going to happen. No, Who I has the balls to put us on television? I it's don't like want it so, to happen. I don't want it to happen. Neither do I. Okay. But anyway, when she sent me an email and was trying to get a hold of us, she was like, oh, I hear about your colonics because she was watching her Twitter. She's like, I've been wanting to get one. They do it in Europe. It's like standard practice. It's covered Very by your common. health insurance. Very common. And Jake, but I'm nervous because I've heard some stuff about it being a potential dangers. They talk about perforating the colon. I'm sorry. It's ridiculous. That, or uh, flushing out all the good flora and fauna. It's all. No. You know, they want you to take their meds. Changed my life, and I find that I'm like super horny. <laughs> you know well, I mean? I'm not super horny, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit older, darling. Mm. But I do, I do feel the benefits of it. And we're going to have, uh, we're going to have Sheila be one of our health bloggers. I think so. I think that would be. And fabulous. her, her actually, her house is available. You can go and spend a week with her and get really one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. teaching, hands-on. She taught us how to do raw food and yes. different recipes. And the shake yeah. we have every morning now. It's the whole time we're yes. here. We're having our little health shake. Thank you, Sheila. We, we love, love you. you. <laughs> <laughs> so today I thought we'd talk about the colon. The colon, yes, which leads to anal sex, of course. So I think it will be a crowd pleaser. I wanted to explore more anal pleasures this sex year. And I love that they talked about the sex year. And I'm wondering, is there some sort of prep that needs to be done before anal sex? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, honey. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now, here's the thing. It's an anal douche. It's It just goes into the lower bowel. Now, how is that different than an enema? Okay. Uh, an enema or a colonic. If you have an enema, you have a big enema bag. And it's at least a quart or two. Of water that gets put into your And you put it in and you let it out and you put it in. So okay. you don't want to do a deep cleanse for anal sex. No, you don't need to. It's just an anal douche. All you're going to do is rinse out the lower bowel. Now, can you buy? Is that something you can buy in the pharmacy? You know, or? my friend does these silly little fleet enema things. Now, do you, there's water and oil. Which one do you pick? Uh, I would take the water and the oil. Uh, because that's kind of going to be, be, be beneficial to okay. to penetration. But the point is, she it's just a rinse of the lower bowel, which holds the 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 poop that's about to come out. That you don't want to go up into the. You corner. don't have to. You don't have to. Now yeah. here's another thing. After you have your anal douche, mm -hmm. you have to wait a few minutes. Don't do it immediately. No, because if no. you do during during the the sex in and out, it, the water will seep. Ooh, and that's what most women fear. Guys, you should know this. The only reason women don't aren't like completely into anal sex is they're worried that they're not, you know, it's going to be painful or Clean. fecal it's not, yes might come out, and no one yeah. wants to be embarrassed and ruin some sheets. And it's just well, I mean, you know. it's not the end of the earth, but America doesn't really have an asshole, according to most people. So it's very anything true. anal is like ooh, terrible. But it's the number one fantasy. It's like uh, that's all porn is. Basically, a yes. little vaginal, yes. a little oral sex, anal, and finish with the cum shot on the face. So I mean, my problem all along, and I really loved loved it a lot throughout my you know younger years, and still, um, mm -hmm. you have to be conscious of the possibility of urinary tract infections when the anal lube seeps down into the urinary tract. Now, yes, I don't know about you, but I don't want to do anal sex on my back. I want to do it doggy. Yes. Well, I, you know what? I go back and forth. Doggy's okay. good. 
I know what you mean, edge of the bed, doggy. Oh. But I tend to like to be on top because I'm in control then. Well, that's that's how I actually that's how I started off. I forgot about that. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. just because that way you're in control of the penetration, how much. And for a lot of women, that's yeah. the best place to be because you don't feel the same, like, you know, your legs are over your head and he can do whatever he wants. Well, that's only, with, totally the, freak only out. with a very trusted partner will you do that. Now, after you've had mm -hmm. anal sex, you, there's no, you don't have to do anything except sit, no. on, sit on the toilet just a little bit. And sounds might come out during anal sex, too. Let's talk about that. You know what I mean? He's pumping his dick in and out. There could be little air bubbles. <laughs> you know what I mean? Something like that. You know, I, when sounds come out, I don't get embarrassed. I giggle, no. you know, and then I move on. Because it's not important. It's, it's not, not important. no. And if someone's penetrating you anally, it's so tight on a dick, it feels so great. They're not thinking about that. Actually, they're not thinking about anything except how, they're, how good their dick <laughs> feels. So don't worry about the size of your bottom. Don't no. worry about your... If you your, see cellulite on the nah, side... Forget it. Totally he, doesn't see it. You'll never see it. You need to talk about sex. Well, here's and the thing. Plan it. The thing for me is that I kept wondering, I love anal sex, so why is it so infrequent? And then I go, oh, think about it. Think about the preparation. Mm -hmm. Think about the douching. Now, after you take an enema or a douche, you've already kind of messed around with your buddy hole, yes. and she needs a rest. Now you can't just go from there no, straight no. into penetration, and penetration must be done very slowly. Oh, my. Very slow. It's a muscle. You have to work it open. So yeah. you can't just say it's like anything yeah. else in life. True. A lot of lube, and not just on the rim. You have to put lube on whatever you're inserting. Inside. Inside. You there was it. this great um, lube shooter that you can buy. That like, And so you put the lube in, and then you shoot it up. And that also is really, and you can get that yeah. on any adult website or store. Those are really good. That's one of Eric's favorite comments that he makes when he deals with anal. And one more thing here. I've had women report back to me after using the barbell and working the pelvic PC floor muscle. muscle. One, one gal said, oh, Betty, I'm so thrilled. My constipation has practically disappeared altogether since I've been doing my Kegel exercises. Fabulous. Uh -huh. well. We've been together for over a month. I know, and we still like each other and enjoy each other even more. It's great.